Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, the Metro train station in downtown Washington, D.C. has been closed due to smoke filling the train cars. I mean, these people are gagging. They're coughing. Uh, <coughs> are you serious? What? And here's the thing. We, and we want to thank some folks who got this to Heidi just a few moments ago. This is just happening here within the last half hour. Six people have been hospitalized, one in serious condition, after the upper level of the Plaza Metro train station has filled with smoke. Are you serious? And the fire at one of the busiest stations in the rail system is out. But the cause remains under investigation. And immediately you have to start thinking about terrorism. I mean, I, I don't want to believe it. I'm not saying it is. But how do you not got to think about it? I mean, it was with the terror th threats that go on, and especially when you start talking about trains and planes and automobiles. Well, buses. Uh, one train was in the tunnel when the smoke was reported. And uh, the people are very concerned. It was very smoky. So one of the passengers, Fitz Carter, I bet you he was having a fit. And we couldn't see anything. The visibility was poor. Uh, it was burning in our throat, in my chest. Everybody got as low as they could possibly. Imagine, you're inside a train. You can't get off the train. The train stops, and the cars fill with smoke. And you got asthma, or you're on oxygen, or you've got bronchitis, or some other type of respiratory infection. And the, next, the last thing you need is to be filled with smoke in a car. But that's what happened. And the people were, were literally, uh, some of them uh, trapped in there. And just it was just a confusion. Anyway, we want to just get you up to speed. This is what's going on in Washington, D.C. We'll continue to monitor the situation if anything else develops from this, but please pray for the people that have been affected from this smoke inhale, uh, you know, that they've been inhaling. And uh, again, we'll continue to monitor this. If there's anything else we need to report on this, we will tonight. Uh, I'm Pastor Paul Begley, and uh, uh, it's, again, everything like this just makes you nervous. It really does. You can't help it. When you have radical Islamic groups that are out there and other terrorist people and groups maybe that are out there and, and just you, when you have threats constantly. And I'm not saying they did it. It could just be a, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's probably just a malfunction, but you can't help but wonder about these things. So keep, keep praying for America.